Hello folks, how is everybody? I hope everybody's keeping well. So today we are going to look at the person on your mind and we are going to look at the current energy. Any challenges in your current energy, we will look at the past. We will look at this person's current thoughts about you, the current feelings for you, and then we will look at the next six months between you and this person and we will see what's going on, um, how you're viewing and influencing things, how this person is, future hopes, fears and emotions and where your energy should be sitting around the apple. So let's see. So the overall energy between you both is the Seven of Swords. Now the Seven of Swords um, is a card of deception. So um, for sure, someone looks like they're strategizing something here quietly as well. The Fool is underneath. Now um, the Seven of Swords could be that you guys are wearing certain masks with each other, um, not being totally transparent. Let's see. So, um, yeah, I can see where this deception is possibly coming in because your current energy looks like nothing's moving, something's stuck. Um, someone here could be looking at this from every perspective. This could be you because um, it looks like you were trying to manifest something in particular from this person in the past. Um, but I feel like it did not get past a certain point here. Um, I would say that both of you at this time are presenting um, as being... A certain way when it's not actual reality okay so again this could be like a separation where both of you are um even as far as dating other people or uh, posting things online and stuff like that um, communication problems no oh, communication problems okay so it could be that you guys uh, are not talking at this time but let's see I'll take some of these it seems there's a tower that happened, okay? Uh, it's in your challenge, so there was some huge shift um, in this situation, possibly a tear or a breakup. I don't want to cause trouble in your life. I cannot, I cannot, and I cannot. So, I don't want to cause trouble in your life um, is actually landing on your position. Um, and this person is like, I can't, I can't, I can't. That's not the same energy that you um, were in regarding this uh, situation in the past because you were, we can, we can, we can. You were trying to manifest something here. This person's like, um, just like, what's the word? Glass, glass, half empty, that kind of thing. So right now nothing's happening. It says life is dull without you at the bottom of the deck. So um, I would say this person is missing you. But four of swords. So there's a period of healing here, uh, perhaps after whatever this tower was. It uh, can also be a card of silence. The lovers is also showing in your challenge position, so this could be showing again a breakup, a split, a disconnect. Um, it looks like there could have been... This could be an argument, um, or one person was maybe trying to like bulldoze the other person, in a sense, or uh, get their own way about an issue. But the lovers can also be a third party card, um, so there could be a, an extra you know, variable um, somewhere uh, in the situation. Um, this person's getting I can't, I can't, I can't, you know, with a relationship problems. So if this person's in another relationship, there could be problems there, but um, they are feeling, you know, sort of stuck with that I can't. This could be with you either. Uh, perhaps this person feels that whatever this tower was um, is too big, too difficult uh, to overcome. They're just not in a great space right now. And I'm seeing that in the thoughts as well, actually, with this Five of uh, Cups. This is the Edgar Allan Poe deck. Um, and that's him at the graveside of uh, Lenore. And um, I just finished watching uh, The Fall of the House of Usher last night. How good is that show? Who else is watching it? Um, so I thought I would use this deck today. It is a great deck. So in the past, it looks like you were trying to manifest something specific from this person. And it looks like you may have been uh, waiting for this person to uh, even open up emotionally to you. Because... Um, I think this person was a wee bit hot and cold at times. You could be um, in a relationship yourself uh, for some of you, uh, or even older than this person, but uh, not necessarily. Now, I wanna see what this person is thinking about. 
Yeah, it looks like in the past here you were really seeing that over a period of time you could manifest something really significant with this person. Uh, but this person was just like, I can't, I can't, I can't. Um, and now they're regretting the situation. Okay, there's like a sadness here. There's a loss. Like he's at that gravesite. Um, and then we have this beautiful two of cups here. But look at this deck. They're both wearing masks. I said that at the beginning. So neither of you are being totally open or honest here about um, your feelings for each other. And there seems to be like a pause. And this person is doing a lot of thinking about where they want to invest their time and energy moving forward. So um, again, that's kind of linked to like this choice um, perhaps is uh, showing up in this challenge position. This could be a choice to cause or create a tower moment um, in your life or this person's life. Um, that they're just like not wanting to take some sort of action on they're not wanting um you know a tower moment in either life uh, this could be your energy as well because you actually got i don't want to cause trouble in your life but you do want to talk to this person or at least communicate something uh, with this person yeah this person's wearing a mask you both are Right, um, now in this person's feelings for you, um, well they do have feelings for you, they're coming out, out as the king of cups, um, twice actually, so um, the feelings are there, they're still there, there's desire here as well, uh, this person does want to have um, some sort of new beginning with you, they do, but um, I think this person may feel like too much hurt or something has been caused between you both due to whatever this is, because it looks very fiery, um, and it doesn't look like either of you have had like I don't know, like some sort of chance to talk about this. So, the Queen of Wands in this particular deck only has one eye. The other one's like, oh. So anyone who was watching the show, I guess, would probably um, understand what that's about, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's still in the middle of watching, so I'll not say anything, but... Um, yeah, there's attraction here. Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, uh, and King of Cups. So um, I think this person has feelings but has not expressed them to you. That King of Cups, uh, you know, the communication's not his suit. So um, he can sometimes hold those uh, emotions quite uh, tight, like uh, close to his chest. Uh, actually, the King of Cups in this deck is wearing a mask as well. Oh my, we're getting masks everywhere here. That's probably because we're coming up to Halloween. That was a really great joke. <laughs> Okay, so um, in the next three months, we have um, we have some sort of communication. It does look like this person is uh, reaching out. Now, I guess it's because we're coming up to like Christmas or um, New Year's. Maybe some of you have birthdays or something coming up because I see something. Um, let me see. It's something, you know, small. And it looks like it's took a bit of time to get there. There's the Eight of Wands just flipping. So it's some sort of communication. So this person is reaching out. But when I'm looking at uh, afterwards, I'm seeing this person with like a Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. That's their cards, and that's not the great. They're not great to get together. Um, it indicates a kind of like hot and cold um, energy in terms of like actions and communications. Uh, things sort of being a wee bit like. So this person's going to reach out to you, and you may you know continue talking and stuff uh, after that. But it's more like it's not going to be like. A regular type thing you know you could go long periods of time without hearing from this person um, and you're viewing this person as resisting some sort of change um, I think that that's correct but you are viewing this person as um, your happiness um, there's a strong attraction between you and this person and you are showing up as divine counterparts I don't know why is this person like this like what's going on Because you're both um, viewing each other in the same sort of way. Uh, you do both have like, like a really nice energy towards each other. Uh, like this person does have feelings for you, but they're just not wanting to open up. They're not wanting to, they're showing King of Cups, King of Cups. And then when they have the opportunity here in the future, it's uh, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. So uh, you're kind of viewing this person as maybe being the same as they were at one point here in the past. So uh, emotionally here, we have this like two of pentacles. So again, this could be like some sort of choice or decision. Um, it looks like you're hoping that there's gonna be some sort of like tempering of uh, this up and down energy that this person will uh, even themselves out a little bit here, you know, perhaps given some sort of time. 
I think you give this person time in the past though, already. You're hoping for some sort of commitment from this person. Um, I think some of you are fearing having to <clears throat> set a boundary or, you know, get a little bit, maybe look sharp uh, with this person or uh, speak your truth over this situation. Um, I do see both of you having an opportunity uh, to rekindle this connection. There's lots of high hopes tied to this new beginning though. On both your sides as well. But this person needs to like change their behaviour. So what's... Yeah, look, the devil's coming out. So this new beginning, the fool, uh, this the fool and the devil, this new beginning's coming with some sort of restriction still. I just saw 11-11. And the Three of Swords is at the bottom of the deck and it's linked now to this Five of Cups that we were seeing earlier. Uh, so for some of you, there is like a third party. There is uh, like a partner or you're married or something like that. Um, so there's this general sense of like disappointment or something around your connection. And then for others of you here, this is a new beginning um, that is happening where you might have some sort of, you know, really high hope this person does have feelings for you. But again, this new beginning is coming with some sort of restriction so this would be uh, perhaps this per person coming back into your life but still um you know, being a wee bit like hot and cold and stuff i'm um, not really um upgrading in a sense uh, so that is what i am seeing there could be like a real addictive sort of um element to your connection here as well like this person uh, doesn't seem to be able to stay away from you uh, i just don't like that they're messaging you um and then Kind of going a bit inconsistent so quickly but let's see i'm seeing communication in the next three months ghosted communication ignored so for some of you this person ghosted you or um there could have been a block or something very quickly quick <laughs> as soon as i said that um so some of you may have felt blindsided um by something that happened here between you both commitment making it official so this is something you were maybe trying to manifest in the past uh you know from this person Desire, sexually driven emotions, and there's that Ace of Wands with that card. So there's definitely strong passion and desire here uh, between you both. And nostalgia, memories, ex and childhood. So you're thinking of this person, this person's thinking of you. Um, you're hoping that something's going to be resolved here between you both. You could be trying to uh, stay positive about all of this, but uh, both of you right now are not being honest with each other. You're both wearing masks with each other. And see, even when I'm looking at this, the, the fool is at the bottom of uh, the Seven of Swords, which was your overall energy as well. And um, this again looks like some sort of big new beginning or beginning that's uh, starting under like some sort of false pretense or something. Um, there is a story behind that card and it's something to do with someone luring someone down to a wine, wine cellar um, and then like tricking them and uh, you know, killing them. He's got like a like a knife here as you know stabbing him so um, there could be some sort of false promise or something that's made so um that is what i am seeing but i would expect to hear from this person um i hope that that has helped Ooh, that was my belly um i'm hungry <laughs> thank you all very very much and i hope you have lovely days thank you bye bye